Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, uh, I was gonna say Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's gone through an update recently, as you might be able to tell. I can't, uh, actually recall whether we are due for a random run or whether we are due for a, um... Oh, this is a seed. Okay, I'm sorry. That's from the NLSS. I'll play as Blue Baby anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if we're due for a, uh, a random run or if we are due for a, uh, an Isaac run, so you know the rules. That means we're gonna do a random run. Now, this is the old version of the game, uh, so the bean is certainly, basically, more or less objectively better than the poop, but it doesn't have the, uh, the buff that actually makes it, like, a somewhat viable spacebar item, not to put it all in competitive, you know, esports terminology, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's only gonna be able to be used once per room. I really think that was, like, a really smart and, dare I even say, elegant buff to make the bean substantially better was to uh, make it so that it recharges like blue candle. That's uh, present in Community Remix, it's present in the new Steam version of the game, assuming that it's been updated anytime in like the past six months maybe. Um, but it's not present in Spider Mod because Spider Mod is something that you have to... Well, it's not present in my version of Spider Mod at least because you have to manually update it, which I have not done. Anyway, long story short, the only person who suffers for that is me, but I'm still happy to have uh, at least a slightly more viable spacebar item versus what we started with as Blue Baby. Uh, at least I got the poison damage there. We were probably very, very close to not having that poison damage actually, uh, affect Duke of Flies. Duke of Flies on the first floor is, um, typically one of my favorite bosses if we have a bomb or some way to do, like, direct damage through these flies. And the bean accomplished that, basically allowed us to do, uh, well, to easily do, like, 75% of uh, Duke of Flies HP. Now all we gotta do is keep things going here, and I think we should be in a relatively decent position for the next floor. Stem Cells is effectively Spirit of Heart plus a shot speed upgrade, which is not that amazing. I'm not going to the Curse Room because I can't afford to lose any uh, any Spirit Hearts, at least uh, relative to what you might be able to afford on a, a Red Heart style run, like with Maggie or, or Isaac or Kane or sometimes even Judas, but anyway. Long story short, as far as Blue Baby runs go, this one is pretty solid. We'll be looking to improve our standing by getting a deal with the devil on this floor, if it's at all possible. Would love to earn some keys. It looks like we've got a couple different ways to maybe get our way into that uh, item room. Whether it's going to be uh, via gambling on that slot machine to get a key, blowing up that slot machine to get a key, or finding the secret room and uh, being able to uh, bomb our way through the secret room into the item room and probably picking up something that I don't even want or something that's only a marginal improvement over my existing spacebar item which is actually working out okay for me. I mean the problem with the bean of course is that it's relatively strong in the early game pretty much god awful in the uh, late game especially when it comes to your range because you pretty much have to get right next to enemies in order to uh, be able to hit them which is not good for business. So we're gonna not take that HP yet. Go in here. Uh, what I was really hoping to see was, as you might expect, uh, nine lives, which can be very effective when you're already rolling on spirit hearts anyway. But I think we will take brimstone here. It's going to annoy some people, so be it. it. You know, that's life basically. We have to take something as blue baby. Now, I, the reason I kind of got a little bit uh, tongue tied when I was in that deal with the devil room is because I was thinking, like, is Luckfoot actually better than brimstone? As much as I love Brimstone, and surely if you've been watching uh, the series for a long time, you know that I use it a lot, though I must love it. Um, I, I've really probably lost a little bit of my fervor for Brimstone over the past, you know, three months or so. I, I still think it's a great item, and I think in terms of, like, raw killing power, it's, it's up there. It's not quite Mom's Knife, but its ability to destroy enemies... Oh, that's so good. Its ability to destroy enemies is super, super good. Um, that being said, by itself, it's not that Im not that uh, carryable, if that makes sense. It's not going to carry you that far relative to a Mom's Knife or something like that. And, you know, I was thinking, like, maybe if we can only take one of these, and we could only take one of them, Luckfoot might be better, you know? All pills will be good. Maybe that'll give us, like, 5 HP over the course of the run, along with some tiers upgrades, and, and who knows what else. Balls of Steel would be super important as Blue Baby. So, I ran... Well, I didn't really run the numbers. They didn't have any numbers in front of me. I just... I thought about it in my head, and I hemmed and hawed a bit, and then I ended up going with Brimstone. Whether or not that's the right choice, I don't 100% know. But we'll see. I'm very, very, very happy with our HP. We are gonna have to earn a key, uh, unfortunately. For one bomb, we should be able to at least visit the secret room, though. Maybe we'll get an onk or something in here. Uh, three cents. 
Not really what we were looking for, but that's okay. That We are going to gamble on that slot machine to try to earn a key to get into the item room anyway, so... This seems to make sense uh, for helping us out a little bit, and then we'll blow up the slot machine on our uh, final option, basically, if we have to. I'd rather not. I'd rather save our money, too. I'd rather just get a key drop, but uh, sometimes you can't always get what you want, right? Sometimes you can't always get what you want. Always, sometimes you can't get monsters unless you want them. I don't know if I'm talking about anything at all right now. Um, sure, we're going to blow this up. Four more cents. Okay, so we lost a penny and a bomb there. Uh, I think I am going to sacrifice the Spirit Heart to go to the Curse Room. Our HP is relatively good now, and we have a bit more offensive punch. Never know what you're going to find in here. Flies and bombs. It was definitely not worth the Spirit Heart, but if we had picked up nine lives, for example, that would have been amazing. So, we did get Squeezy. We, we picked up three Spirit Hearts on this floor and Brimstone. We lost three Spirit Hearts as well, but we have Brimstone still. Um, apart from that, we didn't really gain too much, but we're still trucking along here. So I'm, you know, not necessarily 100% confident, and certainly you could argue that things could have gone better for us. But as of right now, I'm relatively happy with the way things are going, you know? We've got decent HP as Blue Baby, we've got good offensive uh, potency, that's all you need to start with here. Plus we, we just recaptured our own soul. You don't get any bonus for having a Blue Baby soul even when you're playing as Blue Baby. I think that's worth picking up. But, uh, I guess it's nice to have a little bit of a half-decent familiar. Would prefer something like Mom's Pearl, but, you know, cross that bridge when we come to it, hope hopefully at least. We will be trying to gamble a little bit more on Fortune Tellers if, uh, you know, the opportunity presents itself. So far we haven't had an arcade show up and, you know, there's not going to be one on this floor. There could be a Fortune Teller on this floor, but probably not likely to be an arcade. That key is super valuable. So we have our uh, bomb for a key trade here. We could, oh, if we get another bomb, we're gonna come very close to getting 15 cents. And I feel like shops are very, very valuable as Blue Baby because a couple of the items are more viable than they are as like an Isaac or uh, any other character that relies on red hearts. For example, I think uh, Blue Candle is way more viable as Blue Baby because you're not replacing the D6 or you know, Book of Belial, but you'd probably replace Book of Belial with Blue Candle. And Book of Revelations is definitely way more viable, uh, to the point of being not necessarily like a compulsory Blue Baby item, but it fills a, a need that Blue Baby has to actually generate spirit hearts one way or the other. Looks like we'll be able to go to our shop no matter what. Now this is, last floor we needed uh, keys, but had bombs. This floor we're gonna need a bomb, but have too many keys. I, I guarantee it. But anyway. There's three keys. Inside of here we get little Steven, which is actually a, a nice little familiar bonus, I guess, uh, when we have Brimstone. This will help us take care of some of the flies that will rush us down while we charge up Brimstone. So, don't necessarily expect to be doing a ton of damage to Peep here, but I also don't expect to be taking that much damage. Looks like a relatively easy layout for what we've got going on here. Just gotta make sure Peep doesn't jump on top of me, and uh, of course, you know, Watch out for the eyes as well. But as long as we're able to do this without getting hit, we could have a pretty decent chance of getting a deal with the devil. That was a very tight little dodge there. If I manage to get uh, nine lives in that deal with the devil, I think I'll take it. I think it'll kill me, but then bring me back to life. Or maybe it'll just not kill me, but leave me with like zero HP for one life. And then when I respawn, I'll respawn with one spirit heart. But we don't have to worry about it. So... Dare we go to our shop in this situation? We've already been to every other room, right? I, I think we've already been to every other room, and there's no golden chests for me to open. Do we blow a key trying to get to the shop, hoping something's on sale? I, I honestly think that might be the best call. Yeah, we can't get to that. Um, let's try it. 15 cents. Uh, well, you know what? I'm actually going to buy the other key here. Uh, that was a 5 cent loss, but so be it. I would have been a little saltier about not being able to buy the coin purse if I'd actually gotten Luckfoot earlier, but I got Brimstone earlier. You know, it's every every Isaac run, or most Isaac runs at the very least, end up being about trade-offs, right? You, do, you, you can choose one thing, you can't choose both things. You know, the other, it's the road not taken, if you will. Sure, now we get bombs. Wouldn't have allowed us to buy the coin purse anyway, I think. And maybe we wouldn't want the coin purse anyway. Now, Remote Detonator, you could probably make a case for it actually being better than the Bean. And then you might be right, actually, but we'll maybe reconsider that uh, 
at the time when we were about to be leaving this floor. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm happy with the, with the run that we've set ourselves up with here. I've been pretty good at dodging. I don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, I've been playing pretty well, like from a fine motor skills uh, department, which would be the first time, I think, in my entire life that someone could praise me on my motor skills. What do we have? Oh, well, now we have the coin purse again. I think it's worth going through with it. Four different pills is uh, always a little daunting. We've already done this boss trap room, though, so, you know, we, we've only gotten a little stronger since then. But, we're certainly stronger than we were when we did this on the first floor. Now, we, all we have to hope for is that, um, you know, we don't take damage against Monstro. Larry Jr. should be pretty easy. And then hope the, the pills are half decent. And I'm not going to be too picky, you know. I would love HP upgrades. I would love Balls of Steel. I would love, um, you know, anything that's just not objectively bad would be great, I think. I was a telepills, which just took me far, far away. That's okay for now. Uh, bombs are key would be nice as well. Now we know there's telepills. That was a risk-free pill. All right, there's bombs are key. Fairly okay. Health up. That's awesome. And speed up. All right, that was a, a pretty okay assortment of pills there. HP, speed, uh, a bombs are key, which, you know, is not incredible for us right now, but is it probably prefer to have things this way. Yeah. It does make it a little bit harder for us to find our secret room because we have less bombs and there's still um, a seeming abundance of possible secret roomish locations here, but that's okay. I think we'll use both of our bombs here to make this happen. Like, we can't create a bridge with the... Uh... Oh, we can create a bridge with the Tinted Rock. Never mind. That was just pretty much objectively great. Uh, telepills is a savable pill that we can use to possibly get a deal with the devil after the mom fight if we manage to keep our HP well. And our HP looks great so far, especially considering, you know, no miter. Mm, we don't really want that. No miter, no relic, no book of revelations, no crystal ball, no mom's pearl, etc., etc. Um, just, you know, good old fashioned play is making this work for me. So, honestly, you know, the sun card is actually pretty bad when you're blue baby. I am so lucky there. Um, yeah, so we might want to just use the sun card on this floor to help us find the secret room on our first play. And we, we could get the Necronomicon benefit out of it as well, of course, but... Uh, I don't think that's that's super pressing. Get this guy to, like, pop up, and then... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do there. Gotta watch out, make sure I don't walk on the spikes, though. It's harder than it looks. It's probably a, an easier way to do this. There we go. We got another key as well. Okay. So far, so good. Let's see if we can snag a deal with the devil here. I think we've earned it. It's going to be Gertie. Gertie, when you have uh, Brimstone, is usually a pretty easy play. Our base damage is not fantastic, but our ability to kill the flies that Gertie spawns is going to be great. The ability to kill the nubs is going to be great. We are going to have to deal with Gertie's bullshit uh, shots without any orbitals, but... We have the speed necessary to dodge those pretty effectively as well. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty anti-Gertie build right now. Which is good. Sometimes you uh, you have a good build, but against Gertie you find yourself taking dumb damage because you just don't have uh, very good damage of your own. And then it takes 100 years to actually finish the Gertie fight. Nobody's happy with that. My Gertie fight's going okay. We're about 90% of the way through, I'd say. Probably like two more brimstone hits will be enough to finish the job. The other thing is no rocks on this level. Helps me out a great deal. Pentagram is a, a great item whether you're blue baby or not. But as blue baby, you know, HP is worth less. Sort of. In a way. So I think that you don't mind not getting HP in Book of Belial. Or not Book of Belial. But Pentagram is even better. And we will take the ability to fly for sure. So our HP, uh, again, gets low. But uh, now we can fly. And that will be uh, it'll be good for business. It's already paid for itself. There's one cent right there. You can buy three spirit hearts for one cent, right? There's our secret room. Hopefully that's going to actually allow us to get access to the shop. If we fight greed, you know, we fight greed. So be it. We should be able to take greed out pretty easily here. Super stoked to have pentagram. You know, one of the dangers with brimstone is uh, great against a lot of enemies. Not very great against, like, one single target foe with a lot of HP. So the more damage we can stack up, the better that is. Obviously, like, Polyphemus is the, the king of that kind of item to, to alleviate that issue. But uh, let's go to the secret room here. Starting to wish that I hadn't bought that key last floor. Yeah. I still wouldn't have enough money, but might have been better. I, I say we check it out just in case we end up uh, finding greed. Instead... 
we end up finding the compass, which I sadly cannot afford unless we get super lucky. I'm, I'm thinking about it. So bare minimum, or sorry, maximum, I would have to play this six times. Six times would take three spirit hearts. Is it worth giving up three spirit hearts for the compass? I don't know, man. I, I think we play it safe and just leave. I'm not even going to buy the spirit heart. As much as I would love the compass, and as much as long term it could be the right choice, I don't want to, like, go through that. Maybe it only takes me four to get six cents. That would be two spirit hearts. I don't want to go through that, put myself low on HP, and then find myself on, like, Necropolis XL next time. So, you know what? We'll, we'll do our best to... Yeah, we don't want anything here. We'll do our best to make do with, uh, without the compass. We, we would have just been on the depths, assuming we didn't, like, alter the RNG or something like that by, uh, our decision-making process there. Some people might have made the decision to play that more aggressively, and those people may very well be right in the, um, in the annals of history. But I wanted to play this a little bit more conservatively. I, it's worth noting, I've played this a pretty aggressively so far, considering how many deals with the devil I've taken. Uh, despite the fact that I don't have any way to actually replenish my HP. At least that's my perspective on things. With so many keys, uh, I think it is time to maybe go to uh, this library and replace our bean with something better. And Book of Shadows is probably substantially better than the bean. Not to mention it would have been really useful last floor to play that uh, Blood Bank and get enough money to buy the compass. Even if it did cost us one Spirit Heart at that point. But it probably would not have. So I'm relatively pleased to get Book of Shadows. It's uh, it's an indirect HP upgrade, or, you know, indirect way to save Spirit Hearts, I should say. Let's come down. I assume that we'll have a... Oh, never mind. Um, now that we have Book of Shadows, we're probably going to basically immediately give it up for Book of Revelations, which is substantially better. Maybe substantially better. There are situations in which Book of Shadows is better, but as Blue Baby, I think, um, I think Book of Revelations takes the cake here. All right, let's keep this up here. It's low key. Now I'm gonna try to, you know, use my book of shadows here as soon as the spike gets close to me. If it doesn't get close to me, I may just keep book of shadows. Well, I don't, I don't have the, um, I don't have the money to buy book of revelations yet. So there's no guilt in keeping book of shadows for now. Uh, it was very easy. Uh, we do want the HP upgrade, I think. Let's see what we've got going on in our Devil Room. Uh, you know, Guppy's Tail is great. Demon Baby is not so great, but okay. But I can't afford to take either of those at, at those prices. Not many items I could afford to take at those prices in, in this day and age, but that's okay. So we're going to be very much looking for four more cents because Book of Revelations would be nice. The earlier we get it, the better, of course. And more keys. I mean... Weirdly enough, I'm I'm going to be saying, like, I really want to get more golden chests if the game could just give me some golden chests. And you're going to be like, why didn't you get Guppy's uh, tail? And, you know, you're not wrong. But at the same time, I do think that it was uh, it was the wrong choice to, to get Guppy's tail. Probably. We're not going to become Guppy, so, well, in all likelihood at least. So we would just be taking the item at face value. And at face value, it can be great. There's uh, enough money for... Book of Revelations. At face value, it can be great, but we don't have enough keys to really feel super confident about opening a ton of golden chests. So, Fat Odd Mushroom is uh, a nice bonus for me. Extra Spirit Heart, sure. Extra damage, the most important thing. Does, ooh, does slow down our rate of fire a little bit, but so be it. So the thing that's a little shitty is that we're probably, you know what, I'm going to give five cents here. I know we could buy a Spirit Heart for five cents, but I like our chances of getting a better trinket and, uh, Maybe a, uh, a couple of extra spirit hearts. See, Maggie's Faith gives us one spirit heart by itself, assuming we never get hit, which is pretty unlikely. I believe that's how that works anyway. So there's our five cents. Was it worth it? I think so. We also got uh, another bombs or key pill out of it, which we don't want. But anyway. Um, yeah, Maggie's Faith, the eternal heart is normally protected by spirit hearts, but I think with... Uh, this is not where we want to go. I think with... The um, fact that we're Blue Baby, it's actually the opposite. I know that sounds a little silly, but I do think that it's correct that uh, we actually don't get 
protection for our eternal heart. But still, if we don't take damage, we have a chance to, uh, nice. Uh, uh, not so nice, but that's okay. We have a chance to at least, uh, get one more HP, which for five cents is, is pretty much exactly what we wanted. Wow, that is enough money to make the next shop worthwhile. If we don't fight greed in that next shop, which I'm thinking it's pretty likely we will, because every shop that we've been to thus far has not contained greed, so, you know, this is not, this is a statistician's nightmare, this logic right here, but in a way, we're kind of due. <laughs> we're due for a greed fight, I don't want to fall victim to gambler's fallacy, but, uh, for real. Um, yeah, we'll open this. I don't know if it was worth it. At the very least, we'll get, you know, up to half of a Book of Revelations charge here, so as long as we don't take damage, we should be good. And, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've not taken a whole heck of a lot of damage on this run. I don't think I've been hit in, uh, in several floors. In fact, I don't think I've been hit very much on this run altogether. Now. You should be dead. And, I mean, that's something that I, I think I have the right to feel pretty cocky about to some extent. We've been playing very well as Blue Baby. This run could go very differently if I had played as poorly from a, like, motor skills department as I have on a lot of runs. So remember, we're saving telepills. I don't think we buy anything else here. Um, I, if there was a spirit heart, I probably would have bought it because we're going to get back to 15 cents anyway, but down to the next floor. Hopefully a shop on this floor, which contains, uh, like, Nun's Habit. Or something, at least, that augments, even 9 volt, battery less so, but we don't have any choice in the matter, so. Um, but anything that augments the ability or the frequency with which we can use... Book of Revelations, which is um, possibly the most important item for us moving forward. Okay. Dead Bird is bad, but we don't have a choice. At the very least, we didn't get uh, inundated with, like, shitty active items on this run. We've had three active items, well, four if you can't Monster Man well, uh, but three, you know, viable active items show up, which, you know, as Blue Baby is, is fine. You really, ideally, you only want one viable active item on any given run, and you just want it to be the best, and you want it to show up early, most of the time. But, um, yeah, we're fine. I'm gonna take this pill. This is a little risky, I think, even though the ones so far have been great. Yeah, that's what I figured, is it puts us at risk of that. But hey, that gave us some information that uh, our eternal heart does seem to be protected. Which is nice, because that is gonna pay for itself then. The spirit heart will uh, indeed appear. The other thing that would be great, with that in mind, is if our uh, if our shop contained Mom's purse, that would basically guarantee us an extra spirit heart per floor, which is not a lot, but could tilt things just enough in our favor to make it work. And I sincerely think that that bad trip pill is like the first damage that I've taken in like two or three floors, and it was a pill, which I have more or less no control over. And Bad Trip never becomes full health as Blue Baby, unfortunately. I think it might, but it doesn't benefit you. Okay. I have... I, I swear to God, I was playing like a... Um, a daily challenge on the Northern Lion Live Super Show with Nick. And I had a situation where I like respawned as Blue Baby via the Ankh. And it ended up... Uh, I had a full health pill that I didn't know was a full health pill. Might as well, I guess. Um... Yeah, I had a, a full health pill that I didn't realize was a full health pill. It was unidentified until I used it. And then it, it took me from, like... That's bad damage. Uh, it took me from, uh... One spirit heart to, like, three spirit hearts. And I was like, oh, is that, like, the one situation where as Blue Baby, a full health pill can actually benefit you? If you start as another character, use the Ankh, and then use, like, an unidentified full health pill? I don't know, man. You can probably go back and find that. So, I, uh, I regret coming into this room. I'm starting to feel like the sheen is wearing off a little bit. Some surprisingly poor damage thus far. But you know what? Don't build things up too high in your head. Uh, I'm, I'm only human, even though I have been playing like, uh, well, like a good human, which I'm not normally. Still lots of possibilities for disappointment here. So let's just, um, you know, temper our expectations as usual. Remember that I'm still Northern Lion here and hopefully uh, improve our standing as a result. So we have another Telepills. I don't think that's worth worth picking up, but a three cent Spirit Heart is. Everything else I'm gonna leave. Why not buy the bomb? Eh, you know. Maybe we get money equals power. I'd rather have the money. Bombs are usually fairly easy to come by, at least. 
Only very, very rarely do I end up buying a bomb. Like, I, I'll buy a key as, like, a future consideration. Like, maybe we'll need a key at some point. Uh, but bombs, it's like, do I need a bomb immediately? Yes. Okay, then I'll, I'll bite the bullet on that one. So we have an arcade. Uh, if that was a fortune teller, I would have gone through with it. Because it's not a fortune teller, I'm not going to go through with it. Fortune teller could be very beneficial. If anybody's wondering why I didn't buy Bum Friend, I'll just give you the cliff notes because people are probably sick of hearing it by now. But I actually think Bum Friend is a, uh, a bad item. Even if Bum Friend was free, I would rather not have it than have it, believe it or not. I know I, w I watched uh, Danielle McMillan, uh, Edmund McMillan's wife, stream a little bit of Binding of Isaac while he was, like, you know, doing some commentary over top, some strategy. And uh, she got into the shop with, uh, with Bum Friend, and he's like, it's better to take it than not take it. I actually, you know, I didn't make the game. I kind of disagree, though. Sometimes it's good, and you might be saying, you all, uh, this is the Cliff Notes version, apparently, by the way. You might be saying, well, like, you're not going to do anything with money at this point anyway, in all likelihood, unless there's eight judgments or something like that. Um, why not take it? Well, it's a terrible range upgrade here, but um, it, it kicks your bombs around and ends up hurting me more often than uh, it helps me through some kind of consumable drop. It's just not worth the trouble, in my opinion. It's kind of like chocolate milk. I could, I could totally see, like, if you did a mathematical analysis, you would be like, oh, this is good. This pays out more often than not. Uh, but the uh, the kind of anguish factor is, is too high to make it worthwhile, I think. Now, let's take an inventory of our run. How does it look right now? Careful. That's a great position for them to be in. Uh, honestly, this run looks very good. We have an important blue baby... Uh, you know, an important thing for Blue Baby has been crossed off the checklist. We can generate our own spirit hearts. It does require us to, to play very well because we, we don't have a huge allowance of, of spirit hearts to draw from here. So the Book of Revelations is what I'm talking about. It's important. One extra spirit heart every six rooms. I didn't use telepills after the mom fight to get a deal with the devil. I'm an idiot. I was in my own, you know, bum friendy world there. My mistake. Take solace in the fact that it probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. Now, uh, we don't want to go through with that. Let's just fight the boss. And we did use Book of Revelation, so yeah, I assumed we'd be fighting death. Which kind of sucks. It's one of the problems with using it. But um, what, what else is going on on this run? Loving our, uh, our HP and our ability, or at least pleased with our HP and our ability to uh, generate more HP in the future. That was uh, stupid of me. Um, pretty content with our damage, to be honest with you. Like our defense in the form of the ability to fly. So how do we how do we lose this one? Well, we you know, it's like our gas tank is like 80% of the way full, but we still don't have quite enough to get to our destination possibly. We might not have quite enough damage to to beat the uh, end of the game on this amount of health. Or we might. Uh, that's something that remains to be seen. All right. Uh, just kind of grazing them with these brimstone shots. That's not going to win you any blue ribbons at the 4H Animal Expo. Rusted key is awful. Very textbook room there. And you might be saying, like, that orbital... Well, actually, I did say, like, getting that orbital is kind of one of the negatives of using Book of Revelations, but to be honest with you, with, um... With permanent Polaroid invincibility, like we have right now, having one cube of meat is actually a decent benefit, because it means that when you get hit... That was awful. Uh, it means that when you get hit, you can actually run up and do some, like, passive orbital damage. Ooh, that, that could have been some terrible damage, too. Uh, yeah, run up and do some passive orbital damage, which would help out. We have a library. I, oof, I don't think it's worth opening, even. I think it's better to save our keys for the possibility of golden chests. What would we even find in the library at this point? You know, the best case scenario is Book of Sin. Or, like, Book of Belial for our boss fight, I guess. But, you know, in terms of, like, things we can actually use, Book of Sin. We're not replacing Book of Revelations. And we're very unlikely to get double item rooms. We, we just haven't gone that hard on libraries, and we haven't ever had the D6 on this run, so... Pretty much impossible. Even if we got a library on every uh, existing floor. And it's gonna be our mom's hard fight, and we didn't lose very much HP on that floor. I think we're, we're net down one. Big whoop. No big deal. Okay. And we've got great crowd control here. Not the most fantastic damage dealing for Mom's Heart, but great crowd control, which is 
probably even more important than having very high damage. The bosses are going to be a little annoying, but um, the uh, mini bosses, or just the, the regular enemies that get spawned, are not going to be problematic at all. Drop that pretty much perfectly. Didn't even need to use it. Now, if we can get out of this before Chubb spawns. We did? We did. Okay. We don't have to deal with Chubb. Not that Chubb would be too hard with Brimstone, but best to not have to worry about it. Wait for the next flies. And there we go. Kill them and get out of the way so they can't be uh, blown up by a bomb later and totally fuck up my day. Now, I'm worried about our damage when it comes to this uh, Isaac fight. Our damage is low, quite frankly. But we might be able to get carried uh, if we at least make it down to the chest. So even if we lose all or, well, not all, almost all of our spirit hearts, um, if, as long as we can make it down to the chest, we have a chance. But I do worry that we'll end up losing, like, you know, eight or nine spirit hearts on the Isaac fight. Dead bird will help. Um, we'll have some bombs. Hopefully we can get some tinted rocks. Hopefully we can pick up some golden chests on this floor, which would allow us to... Oh, snap. Uh, some golden chests on this floor, which would allow us to do some more uh, damage, maybe, or get some more spirit hearts. As is right now, it's a pretty good blue baby run, but it's uh, it's still a, a blue baby run where we're very much, uh, you know, in the shit, if that makes sense. Ah, thank god. That extra spirit heart, it's worth six rooms of uh, Book of Revelations, that's huge. I hate the, the knockback that, like, when, when they knock each other back, it's like, come on here, I've already got enough to worry about just dodging the shots to begin with. That was terrible, I was in a safe position and dodged into a... Uh, a vulnerable position. He led me. He shot where I was going to be, not where I was. Very smart play. So I don't know if these widows can actually get on top of these rocks. Just to be safe, whenever they get close, I'm just gonna rotate here. I don't think they can jump on top of the rocks. But yeah, you know, killing them makes it a little easier. Okay, let's do this. I'm a little concerned, but the good thing is, until we get hit at least, we got a lot of time to not have to deal with too many Isaac shots. Little Steven's gonna be shooting at him, but there's not gonna be any dead bird, and Brimstone is like a once every two or three seconds type of shot, so this is all free damage. Once dead bird starts firing like crazy, uh, which is gonna happen the first time we get hit in all likelihood, then we're gonna be in a little bit more of a um, deleterious position, but for now, if we can get through the first phase without getting dead bird to trigger, life's good, man. All right, now if we can get through the second phase without getting Dead Bird to trigger, that would be even better. We only have one orbital helping us out here. And I'm starting to feel like this fight is actually going much, much better than I expected. I expected it to be like, you know, trading shots and, uh, you know, it would take us a hundred brimstone shots to actually kill Blue Baby. About halfway through, and we haven't really uh, found ourselves under duress too much yet. Oh, that was close. But we're about to get into that third phase. And we do one-shot the angel fetuses when we're able to focus on them. Which is what we're going to try to do as much as possible. Because they're really the biggest assholes from a damage standpoint. Anytime we can line up uh, an angel fetus and Isaac in the same shot, that's going to be the, uh, the best course of action for us by far. Oh, I'm... Do you believe in the dream right now? I'm starting to believe in the dream of a perfect Isaac fight. So far, so good. There we go, he's dead, and all we gotta do is kill the Angel Fetus. We didn't take any damage against Isaac. Wow. Uh, okay, Ghost Baby, we take it. Mom's Contact, killer item. Chocolate Milk, glad I didn't bounce into that one by accident. And Wiggle Worm, terrible. And the boss room is right here? Somebody up there must like me a whole hell of a lot for this to take place. This is like the smallest chest I've ever seen. That maybe came out wrong. But know that I didn't mean it offensively. We also found our secret room. How much HP does Super Lust have? Like, be real here. Who do we kill last? Uh, it makes sense to, to kill Greed first. Kill Wrath last. Because we could maybe get uh, some extra bomb somethings, you know? Maybe get a uh, homing bomb, or poison bombs, or Mr. Mega, or just extra bombs, which is what we ended up getting. So, in our secret room, we just get money. Alright! Now just don't throw this against Blue Baby and we should be 
totally fine in all honest. Oh, <laughs> I immediately took damage. That's so sad. I beat uh, Isaac without getting hit at all and then like walk into the blue baby room and I'm like, oh, okay. So the, the thing that makes this fight though probably substantially easier than the Isaac fight even though we've already taken an infinite times more damage uh, is the fact that we have mom's contact. So, you know, once every four, once every five shots, we're gonna completely freeze blue baby. My charging is taking a little bit longer, I think, or I'm miscalibrated. Uh, so basically, I just want to keep it frozen, and yeah, Brimstone's probably like our bulk damage dealer. But Dead Bird is, uh, you know, it adds up, man. It's like an amortization table. We've got some compound interest running, uh, you know, financial tables and shit on um, Blue Baby's asshole. All we gotta do is keep him frozen as much as possible, and then we're not in danger. This is gonna be the third phase basically happening right now. And if we just deal with the angel fetuses, we should have a very, very limited concerns about how this is going to go. And wow, I don't know how if a run has ever gone from like cautiously optimistic to full blown like there's no chance we lose in this in uh, in as quick as this one did. Pretty much, uh, you know, on the wound part one, I was like, I don't, I don't know, we might have like a 50% chance to win. Uh, and after that Isaac fight, it was like, oh, we've we've pretty much got this sorted. We didn't really run into trouble very much at all. Though. Even Mom's Contact didn't carry us that much because we didn't need carrying. As always, thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll be back with an Isaac episode as Isaac tomorrow. Thanks for watching.